we left mid-Missouri on our way to Manhattan, Kansas, where my son Robbie and his family live. And we drove through Kansas City on I-70 and no issues with traffic at all, getting our big fifth wheel through that area, all the way through Topeka, and through the beautiful Flint Hills of North Central Kansas, turned right, headed through Manhattan, ended up at this Corps of Engineers Park called Tuttle Creek Cove, which is a pretty cool place. Yes, it's um, the spots were nice and roomy. Uh, you didn't have anybody on top of you. There was even an extra little space to park your additional vehicle if you were driving an extra car, towing, or like for us with our truck. Um, there are lots of trees. It was really nice having that. Uh, nothing directly on your site, but all around you. Nice campground. Um, the lake is unbelievable. It was pretty windy uh, the three days that we were there. You can see some of the white caps on the lake, and this is nothing compared to what it was later in the afternoon and even the next couple days. Holy cow, it got very windy and the white caps were incredible the next couple days. But it's a cool little lake, uh, a great little recreation area. Um, the campground we were at was called the Lakeside when there's yeah. 22 spots in that area. And then I think if you drove further down the main road, there was another campground area. Another loop. Another loop, what yeah. What they loops, yeah. It's a beautiful lake. This is an old Alpha RB motorhome. It doesn't look like it. The guy had it repainted, and I walked by with Daisy several times, eyeballing it, looking at it, thinking, God, it looks like an Alpha. It's got the shape. Finally found the guy outside, went over and talked to him, and sure enough, it's an old Alpha motorhome. He had it repainted. New paint job sure makes a big difference on an older vehicle to make Ooh. it brand new again. Holy cow. Beautiful area, lots of green, lots of places to walk, lots of places to hike around the lake. If you wanted to, you could go right down to the lake. I mean, right over this little ledge here, it is, uh, you're right there at the shore of the lake. It's right there, so it's kind of cool. We were there in the middle of May uh, during the week, so there wasn't a whole lot of people there. There were only a little handful of campers, and um, I was concerned at first because of the playground being like right outside our door but um it there was one little family there with a couple little kids and that was it it wasn't not noisy at all no uh, -uh not noisy i was concerned at first when i saw the playground when we pulled up i went oh great it's gonna be <laughs> noisy with kids yelling and screaming right here but it wasn't it was nice there's the uh that's a retaining wall um that was the upper side, huh? Yes, it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because up on the very top of that hill after we come around the corner, that's where the bathhouse is and stuff. Yeah. The, the, see how wide the spots are? Really nice. Uh, big picnic table. Uh, they had a barbecue area uh, at each site. They even had these poles with hooks on them to hang a lantern from, which we thought was kind of cool. At first we were looking at it going, what is this for? <laughs> <laughs> and then it was like, oh, duh, it's to hang a, a lantern from. So that was kind of nice. Yeah. Roads are nice, all paved. Uh, your sights are gravel, very level. You don't really have an issue with uh, leveling out at all. But the roads in and out of the place, as you can see, they're, they're very nice, very well maintained, nice and wide, and there's no sharp turns. It's all big wide curves to get in and out of the place. And we didn't have any issue at all. This hill going from the bottom where we were to the top concerned me after we had parked and I looked at it and went, uh-oh. But our big old monster Ford F-350 Dually 7.3 chugged us right up the hill with no issues whatsoever. Yeah, it was a little concerning at first when we first saw the hill in the curve. It was like, uh-oh. And there's the bathhouse. Uh, the only bathhouse they had was sit on the upper side. So you had, if you were down in the lower uh, loop where we were, you had to walk all the way up this road around the curve to get to the bathhouse or you just drove your vehicle up there, which I did because I'm lazy. Yeah, I thought that there <laughs> should be a stairway in in the middle of the lower section heading up to the top section. It just would have made it more convenient. There weren't any bathrooms down in that area. And if you were in a unit that uh, you didn't want to use your facilities and you usually use the campgrounds, that would have been inconvenient. They could have put the stairway right here where the guardrail is that goes from that road down the hill to where that RV is. 
And uh, shoot, that would have been great exercise going up and down the stairs, too. Yeah, it would have. There's our house. We'll zoom in on it. There you go. And there's the little playground right behind us. I, Tom. I like slides, so I wanted to be close to it. Yeah, Tom liked <laughs> playing on the playground. He was glad there weren't any other kids, too. Yeah, he I had, had it all, all to himself. All to myself. <laughs> Actually, we had somebody had seen a snake. Yeah, that's right. Do you remember right. that? Yeah. And we were warning the parents of the, the little kids that were playing there. It's like, okay, the guy just saw a snake here. Be careful. Yeah, I don't know what kind it was. Do you? Did he even say? It was a snake. I don't do snakes. <laughs> <laughs> Not an expert on identifying them. It's a snake. Yeah. <laughs> so here's the playground on the upper level up near the shower house. So they had two little playgrounds in our loop anyway. See the Lakeshore loop right there, 22 sites. Beautiful area. Holy cow, it's really nice. Uh, if you're looking for something to do in North Central Kansas, Manhattan's the place to be. It's got K-State University, what they call the Little Apple area. A lot of nightlife, a lot of shows, a lot of concerts. Fort Riley's close by, Junction City. Uh, we had a blast staying at Tuttle Creek Cove. This campground was just beautiful. And it was in close proximity to our family, and that's um, what we, you know, why we were there in Manhattan, Kansas, was to visit Robbie and Jenny and their fam and their family. And they came out to see us too. They sure did. We had a blast with them at their house, and and even when they came out to see we had us. A great visit. <clears throat> My grandson. Seth and Kelsey, Robbie and Jenny. We had a wonderful visit with them all three days that we were there. We love you guys. Can't wait to come back and see you again next year.